Hi, welcome to How to RPG. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about role playing games. Why use a quest map in your adventures? That is the question for today. There are a couple of different reasons to do so and I thought I would cover that today. So using a quest map or an adventure map, probably some key reasons why you would do it. So maps help serve as a departure point, the starting point for a quest involving some sort of uh, exploration when you're exploring your adventure, exploring the world that your adventure takes place in. Many of the players' questions are actually answered with a quest map and a, a pictorial map. Want to reduce the amount of work that you need to do, a map will certainly help to a certain degree. The players can also plan out a route on that map for the quest's desti destination because if you give them a quest map, you probably have a destination point and a departure point or a starting point. So then they can then draw out that route that they would prefer to take. Maps for a quest don't have to be complete. In fact, they can be incomplete. They can even have inaccurate information on them. So when the players first get them, you may include inaccurate or incorrect information or an incomplete map. Now, why would you do something like this? A map is just a way of organizing and presenting information easily to players. I mean, ultimately, that's what you're trying to do. So an incomplete section on a quest map encourages the players to explore the world and fill in the gaps. There's one reason for doing this, by giving it an incomplete map. So there's still some unknown things out there that they, they won't know the exact position of. They'll find them as they go. Inaccurate information in an adventure map. So when you get an adventure map or a quest map, this can certainly cause confusion for the players if you have inaccurate information on it. But it also forces the players to verify the information on the map when something is found to be incorrect. It is always unwise to include only fictitious or false information on a map. You only want to include a little bit of that. It is much harder for the players to get lost or to become unengaged from your adventure if you include some sort of map with your adventure or your quest. Now if the players don't write notes, and quite often players don't write notes, or they don't make any kind of record as they're going on their adventure or their quest, a map gives them a better idea of what direction to take, and will encourage them to draw or write down notes sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. So it is a, a certainly a method for, particularly with an incomplete map, it is a way of training your players into taking notes, even if it's just a pictorial representation. Do you always give out a map? That would be my question to you. There is no sort of right or wrong answer with this. It is simply a tool like all things out there, a tool that you use in the way that you think will be suitable for your group. But I would encourage you to use an adventure map or a quest map. It will certainly make your life a lot easier. I hope this was useful to you and interesting. I want to thank you for listening and watching. I want to thank my patrons who support me on Patreon. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.